The stage is set for the Senate impeachment trial of former President Donald Trump. Donald John Trump engaged in high crimes and misdemeanors by inciting violence against the government of the United States. Today, Democrats formally laying out their argument against Trump since transmitting their lone article of impeachment, incitement of insurrection against him to the Senate. In an 80-page legal brief filed this afternoon, the Democratic House managers prosecuting the case depict the January 6th Capitol riot as Trump's last-ditch effort to overturn the 2020 election, stating, this is not a routine corruption charge. Trump has committed an impeachable offense of historic proportions, adding the evidence is clear. When other attempts to overturn the presidential election failed, former President Trump incited an attack on the Capitol. Donald John Trump thus warrants impeachment and trial, removal from office, and disqualification to hold and enjoy any office of honor. But Trump's new legal team in their 14-page response saying the Senate lacks jurisdiction to remove from office a man who does not hold office. And one of his lawyers saying this to Fox News. Can you imagine any American citizen considering it to be a trial in which the judge and jury has already announced publicly that the uh, defendant must be convicted in this case. Meanwhile, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez reflecting on the harrowing moments inside the Capitol the day of the attack during an Instagram live stream. I mean, I thought I was going to die. And one of those who did die, Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick, tonight lying in honor at the very Capitol he gave his life defending with a congressional tribute for his sacrifice. And Trump's legal team arguing that Trump's speech before the Capitol riot is protected under the First Amendment. Andrew Dimber, ABC News, Washington.